Okay, traders, this one is going to be a really, really, really hyper realistic analysis of factual analysis as to what we can see in front of our eyes in the charts on Cardano, to be honest with you, because all the hodlers and the traders and all the people who are really into this asset are extremely, extremely bullish, like they're, they're exuberant in the market, right? Most of the people are just buying the dip on Cardano again and again. So we'll figure out whether these dips are actually worth it in the short time frame. And let's see what happens in the long term time frame as well. Is Cardano a better investment than Ethereum? Is Cardano still a better Ethereum, <laughs> better investment than Ethereum? So guys, hit that like and we are jumping into the charts right off. We have the Cardano USDT price action as the first thing I can see is the volatility is expanding from these zones. And guys, uh, whenever these signals, they come up, I mean, some kind of move does take place, right? Every single time you see volatility expanding on these indicators, something happens, something happens every single time you saw volatility expanding, you just simply go to the upside on, on this price point right here. Guys, so we are having some similar situation on the HV, the historical volatility right here, and the RSI is trending towards the upside. So what does that mean? That means that Cardano will have a lot of volatility in the coming days. All right, in the coming days. Now, this one is a four hour time frame. Um, onto the daily time frame, to be honest with you, this is still under process. Although, there's one thing to be really, really, really take keeping a close eye on. This is why I am quite skeptical on Cardano against the USD pair right now, it is because we broke this trend guys we broke this trend i mean this is the daily trend all right this is the daily rsi trending channel right here we broke it it's as simple as that the charts are telling of the fact that we broke this trend so anything that comes here uh, basically there's 60 price uh, 60 levels on rsi could be a rejection in the first go right now this entire structure uh, the RSI structure was coming from this point right here. Ever since we started our bullish move, ever since we started this bullish leg to the upside, could that mean, could that mean 1.4, 1.5 levels on Cardano was an interim top? It could, guys. It could. Now, this is, I do not, I, I do not intend to make any bearish video for you guys as we are in a bull trend right now. But guys, do have some hyper-realistic um, interpretation in the market because you can make money like this in market but you can lose that money even faster like even faster so guys these are the points of inflection that you've got to be really 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 attentive about on these areas as we are breaking this trend now this this is it, it, it's as simple as it can get i mean look you started trending on to this on every every single time you come on and test this price point right here up on the relative strength index you get picked up for an immense move to the upside every single time every single time what is different this time you're rejecting these price points what does that mean market is not that strengthful there is not much buying liquidity on cardano against usdt guys it's just a simple simple analysis it's just simple interpretation in the market so guys that does mean it's completely okay staying in the sidelines until you are trending below this rsi grind I, it's, it's it's as simple as that. I'm not going to be getting into the small time frames and getting into that chunk of little analysis right here, but it does look to me like as far as you're trending below this daily trending resistance right here, your bias is going to be bearish. It's as simple as that. Now, this is not a bearish video as this trend is completely macro bullish, guys. I'm not going to talk about bearish stuff right here on any of the asset, to be honest with you, but i'm here to tell you that it's better to stay in the sidelines rather than expecting some further continuation move to the upside to be honest with you all right so guys if you do take this one out right here uh, uh, well you have already taken this one out your bearish targets are all the way at 74 cents now if this happens you're going to you can certainly enter the cardano markets the cardano usdt markets back again guys this would be like a 25 percent move to the downside you can pick 25 percent more cardanos if you sit on the sidelines on on this particular price action right here as the 21 simple daily moving average has also started curling to the downside if you're trending below this price point right here that means that cardano will consolidate and it will try to come to these price points um, i mean well 
we start running back again the 21 simple moving average that means that it will probably break this grind to the upside and then we can talk about some further bullish momentum moves to the upside all the way testing the uh, the all time highs was this the all time high yeah certainly this was the all time high now this does not have much history but yeah cardano did make um, an all time high i guess or is it at 2 dollar levels guys correct me if i'm wrong leave your thoughts in the comments down below and hit that like before we proceed on to the other pairs for cardano guys you stay below this grind your targets are these price points right here. as simple as that not a bearish video just a reaccumulation video <laughs> all right the cardano btc pair right here you could argue that the 21 simple on the 3 time frame is being tested now you want to get picked up right here all right you want to get picked up right here if 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 you lose out on this moving average right here there's not much stopping for the trend to further go to the downside guys as this is a this is a strong bearish emerging trend <laughs> <laughs> nasty rejections nasty looking candle right here on the 3 time frame on the btc pair rejecting the 3200 satoshi levels like a bitch guys i mean this one uh, down more than 50% i guess no just 50% it's down 50% from the all time highs could be argued that this is a good buying opportunity on the btc pair that does not mean that it's a good buying opportunity on the usd pair guys start bifurcating your thought process all right it is time it is time as bitcoin does not have a much upside leg remaining in the macro cycle as well while the btc pairs they do have a lot of upside potential so this could happen right this could this could start happening all right i do expect this price point at 1750 satoshi should be picked up if you are losing out on this price point right here then you can simply talk about bleeding to the downside guys now this could be argued with the fact that this is a simple retest of this breakout right here all right you can simply demarcate this zone with a little rectangle and uh, as far as you're hovering above this price point right here completely fine or cardano again btc but this is a humongous correction right here i do expect some rebound so let's talk about some rebound targets as well on this price action come in and uh, um, in the preceding weeks in the immediate short time frame as well you can talk about retesting these these and these price points the 618 could be your perfect profit taking zone as this is aligning with the candle closure the huge bearish fuck off candle closure right here at 2600 satoshis you can talk about retesting these price points in the short time frame in the medium time frame as well as this is the 3 day time frame now guys the daily um not much support not 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 much support on the daily time frame you can you can simply keep on bleeding to the downside that's why the 3 day support is really significant guys what's the 3 day time frame on cardano against btc as that will be your trend decider all right now just let's just say let's just hypothetically say we do bottom out on these price points there's not much stopping for cardano against btc to get reignited in these price points and eventually head towards these areas all right as the sell side liquidity keeps on drying up now, uh, could you could you argue that you were you are still trending in this zone yep you are you are you you are still within the confinements of this diagonal trending support line on the relative strength index which means that it's highly likely that it gets picked up right here all right do you have any hidden bullish divergence as well um not really on the daily time frame yes you do you do look at this look at this low right here i mean look at the rsi right here crazy amount of hidden bullish divergence between these these points and these points right here so yeah you can target this price point right here i mean this is uh, um looking more and more like a lot of evidences are coming in together guys the btc pair is certainly different than the usd pair i'm going to be very honest with you i mean this is this is a very very highly conflicting zone so guys i think trading cardano against btc is going to be certainly an easier trade all right let's jump on to the major 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 thing that i want to talk to you guys about is cardano a better investment than ethereum as we are flirting back with these price points guys if you reject this one right here it's going to look like shit it's going to it's simply going to look like shit cardano will just like it you would be better off holding ethereum for the long haul as well if you do take this support out guys this was a macro breakout this was a macro breakout and we did have our crazy 100% move to the upside on cardano against ethereum which determined the strength in the short time frame and is currently rejecting it i mean you do want to get supported right here this this is this is the key inflection point right here on cardano against ethereum so keep and keep a close look on this chart as well as the rsi strength let's just confirm a few facts from this rsi trend as well um are you trending in this grind right here nope you have a lot of room to come to the downside right 
but if you do start losing out on this level right here that would mean that you are simply <laughs> you're simply ruining your bullish structure on cardano against ethereum right so if you lose out on this price point right here if you do not get accumulated reaccumulated in these price points like the guys if this price action is not taking place right here it is simply better to fuck off back into ethereum <laughs> all right so cardano will um will bleed immensely against ethereum you can go ahead and short some, you you can borrow some cardano with your base capital as ethereum on binance and you can sell cardano into ethereum all right the more it comes to the downside the more ethereum you will get guys this is simple simple margin trading i'm going to be talking about some key margin trading activities which is taking place in the market in all of these pairs as there are a lot of opportunity guys you can make money anyways guys even in even round in circles <laughs> <laughs> lot of opportunities lot of instruments in crypto market as it's quite diversified and you're looking at these price actions like tr like a trader no moon boy shit all right no moon boy crap guys for our time frame looking bearish as fuck this is hmm can you argue that something like this is going to happen with this yeah you could you could if you do not if you do not start trending above this price point right here the 200 simple to be honest with you on the 4 hour time frame then you can simply talk about further further rejection to the answer so guys keep a close eye on this chart as well all right i think i'm going to be winding up this video right here guys let me know down in the comments whatever your thoughts are on cardano do you like to trade derivatives on cardano do you like to trade the btc pair on cardano just let me know down in the comments and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video pretty soon. Bye for now.